Okay, why study marketing? Well, marketing plays an important role in society. Besides the other things that I've just shared with you now about the economy, there are other roles that marketing plays. So Africa, for example, has a population of roughly 50 million. Imagine how many transactions are needed each day to feed, clothe, and shelter. Just those three things, a population of the size. The number is massive. There are hundreds of thousands of exchanges that need to take place in order to serve the needs of consumers, of people. And yet, everything works well. People have what they need, and everything generally runs smoothly. Partly, it's because we have a well-developed economic system that gets products from the manufacturer to the consumer at the end there. And it's a system that's reasonably efficient at distributing output from farms and factories to consumers. Okay, so a typical family will, for example, consume 2.5 tons of food a year. That's just one family. Marketing will make food available when consumers want it, in the desired quantities that they want it, at accessible locations, and in a sanitary, that means clean and convenient packages and forms such as instant and frozen foods and other packaging that consumers want. Marketing plays that entire role. Okay, also marketing is important to business. The fundamental objectives of most firms are survival, profits and growth. Marketing contributes directly to achieving these objectives. So marketing includes the following activities which are vital to a business. It assesses the needs, wants and satisfaction of present and potential customers. What do our customers want? It designs product offerings and manages those product offerings to satisfy the needs. It determines the right pricing for those product offerings and develops pricing policies. It develops distribution strategies in order to get those products into the hands of consumers. And lastly, it communicates with present and potential consumers or customers about the products and their need satisfying properties. So very important roles that marketing performs. Okay, so all business people, irrespective of their specialization area or responsibility, need to be familiar with the terminology and fundamentals of things like accounting, finance, management, and marketing. So all the people in the organization need to know those four things. People in all business areas need to be able to communicate with the other specialists in other areas in the business. So marketing is not just a job for the people in the marketing department. It's also a job for everyone in the firm. For example, David Packard from Hewlett and Packard puts it like this. Marketing is too important to be left to the marketing department. And Pierre van Tonder, the MD of Spur, said the following, the importance of marketing to a company should never be underestimated, nor should any one make the mistake of thinking that marketing is just about expensive flashy, sorry, expensive flashy advertising and PR campaigns. There is a marketing aspect to almost everything any company does. So it's important that you understand that marketing really is the business of everyone in the company because profits and serve satisfying customer needs is the business of everyone in the firm. It's what the business exists for. Satisfy customer needs in a profitable way. Okay, so marketing offers under, um, sorry, outstanding career opportunities. Just a quick glance at any job board will show you that marketing offers great career opportunities. In areas like professional selling, marketing research, advertising, digital marketing, retail buying, distribution management, and logistics, 
product and brand management, merchandising, product development, wholesaling, and many, many more. Okay, marketing career opportunities also exist in a variety of non-profit organizations, including hospitals, museums, universities, the military, and various other government and social services, because all organizations have customers that need to be engaged with, they need to be understood, also non-profit organizations. They might not sell their products for money, but they still have to communicate with their customers and understand their needs and wants. Okay, so as global markets are becoming more challenging, South Africa can firms of all sizes are going to have to become better marketers as more and more overseas firms enter the South African market. For example, in 1996, there were 20 motor vehicle brands in South Africa. Today, there are more than 36 different brands competing in South Africa. And there you can see a lot of them. Okay, so competition is getting more and more fierce. And um, marketers are the ones that will help companies be set apart from the rest. The number of bottled water companies, for example, increased from zero to 140 in just a few years. Phenomenal growth and competition, of course. Okay, according to Donnie Cronier, the ex-chairman of APSA Group, he said competition grows almost weekly, coming from abroad, from niche banks, from non-banks, and is targeting the most profitable markets of all South Africa's major banks. So as levels of foreign competition increase, South Africans will have to become better marketers, and marketing will become a very highly valued skill, which will enhance the career prospects of those who possess those skills. So marketing is a great skill for any person to have, because as competition is increasing in South Africa, more and more companies are going to need people with marketing skills that will help them rise up above the rest. Okay, marketing influences your everyday life. Marketing plays a major role in your everyday life. You participate in the marketing process as you as a consumer of goods and services. When you buy something, you're engaging in the marketing process. About half of every rand you spend goes towards marketing costs such as research, product development, packaging, transportation, storage, advertising, sales expenses, and so forth. And by developing a better understanding of marketing, you'll become a better informed consumer. You'll also better understand the buying process and will be able to negotiate more effectively with sellers. Moreover, you'll be better prepared to demand satisfaction when the goods and services you buy do not meet the standards promised by the manufacturer or the marketer. You will know your rights because you understand the marketing process and you're able to demand good service and good quality products.